Uh, we believe that um, you know a credible elections is one of the key and fundamental um, characteristics of um, good governance and, and a democratic society. So um, even though our observers do not reflect like the complete results of the um, you know the, the elections, we, we, we know that um, we don't have um, observers everywhere, but we try to make sure we do a proportional um, deployment of observers to have our observers in uh, areas where we know that at least when we get in results we can be able to do a systematic observation of the entire election process so we have 203 the 203 actually is divided into two those are the long-term observers and the short-term observers the long-term observers are 53 they observe the pre-election process because we believe that um, for an election for us to categorize an election or characterize the election to be free uh, fair and transparent it is not just an election day but prior to elections so we have 53 three constituency supervisors in across the 53 constituencies in the Gambia who have observed the pre-election environment and we have been able to report their findings and now we have 154 pooling unit observers stationed at different pooling um, stations across the country. We make sure that even if it is just one in a constituency, we will have an observer to have a representative of everywhere in the Gambia and not leave one constituency. Welcome to the Gambia Pacific Data Center. Here we have our election um, data and the class receiving information from our observers on the ground. Um, we have 15 data and class here. Um, they have been receiving information like critical incidents, um, the setup of elections, and the voting process. They're also looking at um, the observation process, start of voting, um, setup, voting, and counting. Um, these are critical um, pillars of the electoral process because. Um, it includes, you know, um, setting up the entire process, how the voting um, is taking place. Um, so, what are some of the things that are unfolding on the electoral? I mean, I mean, on the ground. Um, these are very, very important things. So, the data center is set up to receive information from, from our observers on the ground. We have 154 um, um, observers on the ground, but we also have 53. Out of those 154, we have 53 constituencies um, observers. Um, 53 constituency supervisors who are on the ground to make sure that um, things are coordinated as, as, as well as possible. And here, well, like I said, we have our data entry clerks who are here to receive information. Why we have this is this is the database. Uh, the database includes um, the arrival process, observation, start with voting, set up voting and counting. Um, you can see. Um, all blue, which is um, we've already observed the arrival process, the observation, the voting, and so on. Um, so, start of voting. So, what we are looking out for now is the voting and the counting to the entire process. Um, like I said, our observers are on the ground. Um, what the data in the class basically do is verify the information that is coming um, from from the from the ground, to filter the, uh, this data because this is. What, this is what we report on, based on the information we receive on the ground, is actually what we work on um, to be able to deliver our midday statements and our, uh, you know, um, we deliver our midday statements basically as to our findings and what are some of the things on the ground. Um, you know, the process equally looks at, um, you know, um, how the voting process is, is unfolding, but we're looking at, you know, IEC setup, we're looking at um, also, you know, how everything is coordinated. We're looking at, um, we also look out for things like, you know, if access um, voting the poll, I mean, ac access to the polling stations. We're looking out for if IAC is giving priority to women who are pregnant, the elderly. These are all things we look out for in the voting process. So essentially, this is what we do at the data center. Um, right now, we are waiting on the counting process, voting process to conclude, and then the counting process to uh, finalize the number of votes um, coming from each of this. But of course, this will be done after the IEC has already revealed the final um, results because it is the only legally mandated body to, you know, um, um, relay um, electoral information coming from, from, from the ground. So this is essentially, essentially what we do um, at the data center here that we got from our observers, the general environment was relatively calm and orderly, although there were a few reports of 
disorder at the IEC but overall um, I mean the, 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 the general environment was calm and orderly as well as to um, how prepared IEC was um, most of our observers that observed reported that IEC did have their materials um, sent into the regional offices um, before and prior to elections so um, well there is a little um, you know um, bad news, I would say, with um, voter education and sensitization, because you look at it, um, civil society this time around didn't do much in, in voter sensitization. It's probably because of the manner or the type of election. We always take um, the presidential election to be the major election and often leave the local government elections as, you know, not very important. So um, we, we have seen that voter education was very, very low. And during, I mean, campaigns, we have seen um, many parties campaigning both political parties and um, independent as well and you know as um, the use and non-use of state resources we also did of our observers did um, um, send in reports of officials um, being at campaigns during official working hours and and using state-owned vehicles um, during political campaigns so uh, these are all use and uh, you know abuse of state resources which should not be and also for critical incidents we had one major from our observer in Baju Central who reported that um, the campaign um, NPP during their campaigns didn't allow her to observe um, and she was threatened and verbally attacked in Banjul Central. Um, so, well, we asked her to lay low and, and, and not because her safety is of um, priority to us. Yeah. So, Indian. these are the few things we were able to gather prior to um, the elections today.